right, let's do it. This is the OTR Super Sprint, and Thanks this is right. the post Saturday press conference. We've got Shane Van Gisbergen off Can the back of a, a great win. It's always the thing here with this press conference, actually. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sucks. Not sure if we've got lighting capabilities in here. Sorry, mate. All right. We'll work on it for tomorrow. Uh, guys, thanks for a good race, uh, entertaining one, and lots to digest. So let's start with Shane. And uh, did you know much about that strategy it was playing out? Because we don't see many people go for the overcut strategy and pop out at the front of the field. Did you have full faith in what Andrew Edwards was trying to pull off there? Yeah, it's pretty normal for this track that the tyres sort of hang on and uh, you want to keep a good balance. They don't really wear too much once you get past the blistering phase. So, yeah, I, I knew that was going to be fine, but um, he was keeping me updated with the virtual gap, I guess, to, to Will. Will was quite quick when I was battling with Cam and then also Zach. Um, but once I got past, my tyres cooled back down and I, I had good grip and, and pulled, a, pulled a virtual lead, I guess. Sure. Uh, the battle with yourself, Zach Best, and Cam Waters was pretty yep. cool there for a few laps. Just your thoughts on Zach's race craft, given yep. you know he's still wet behind the ears. Yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah. He, he he drove really well. Um, you could tell he was looking around a lot in the mirror. It's a, it a big moment for him, but you know he nailed the start and got away. And yeah, he was driving really well. He had a lot of grip, um, but yeah, it was was good to race with him. And then when I got got past him. You know, he was, he was clean and, and aware of where I was, and yeah, he's doing a really good job. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Cool. Uh, we'll take it to Will, and uh, nice effort again today, mate, bagging some points. Just the change in fortunes from qualifying to the race for you, were you that far off it in qualifying, or was it uh, you were pretty confident that you'd have the race pace? Uh, no, it's been a, been a yeah, tough day. Um, your two-day format, if you roll out, not quite where you want to be. There's no time to, for the guys to sort of de delve into the info and, and make any wholesale changes. So we, you know, we had some things in the car. We're always pushing today. It wasn't quite where we wanted it to be. The conditions, the wind, the cold conditions. But um, yeah, certainly wasn't quite where we wanted to be. We we're having a few issues throughout practice, and um, you know, we just had to mask a few little things up and, and just try and salvage what we could out today. So definitely to get to second from sixth, they'll take it. Um, it was definitely a tough qualifying run for us, but we, you know, I think we, we did a good job uh, getting to where we are now today. You and Shane played the exact opposite strategies. He pitted at the very end, you pitted right at the very start. Were you happy with the, the strategy call and the positions gained through the undercut? Yeah, definitely. Guys did an awesome job there. Got to thank them. It was, you know, certainly we had no plan. It's sort of just get off the line and, and see where we're at and what the pace and balance is like of the car. and. Uh, you know, I felt quite decent in the first few laps, um, but certainly the overcut is a strategy that can work really well here. It's something that's been very effective for, for me in the past. And so, yeah, it was a yeah, last minute decision come in from behind Chaz and, um, you know, we, we made it work really well. I pushed reasonably hard, but then just managed the gap and um, still had, yeah, some decent tyre left at the end. So once I knew I was sort of safe, I, you know, last few laps, you know, car got sort of better and better. Thanks, Will. Nice job today, mate. Chaz, your thoughts on how the day went? Were you uh, expecting podium pace at a, a track that we all talk about it suits the Mustangs, but you guys were pretty quick here today? Um, yeah, today's been a good day for our team. I mean, we got both cars in the top 10 in, in qualifying, so that was pretty cool. And then, um, yeah, to, to qualify fourth, we were pretty happy. I mean, we could see pole, but not quite. Uh, still a tenth and a half off there. So that was, um, that was real confidence-inspiring for us going in the race, but... Uh, race car has not been as good as we would have hoped as, as the last couple of rounds. So today was real focus on trying to make the car live on its tyre a bit better. Probably underdrove the first stint a little bit. Um, I was probably a little bit of a cork in the bottle to the, the to the shell guys, and uh, but I was just sticking to my plan. I didn't want to destroy a tyre like I have done in previous years here. So um, yeah, the car got reasonably good balance towards the end of its stint, and um, yeah, we obviously played that kind of middle game a little bit with the with the strategy. So I um, was able to come out behind Cam, good tie come up, was able to have a little bit over Cam. So that was quite cool raising him and he went off and had a, had a big flat spot and then um, he was a bit more vulnerable after that. So yeah, then I tried to put my nose down and get the head down and get after to, to, to Will, but just quite, uh, didn't quite have the, the car towards the end to, to challenge him. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll make some changes overnight if it's dry tomorrow and see if we can um, hunt these other guys down. I think you mentioned uh, Jess Yates per tech victory lane that you would be okay with it raining tomorrow it might be a bit exciting but did you learn much running around in the wet last year that you think will be able to help people this year i'm not too sure shane absolutely loves the wet he talks about it all the time 
he loves these cars in the wet, so um, you know he'll be the one to watch tomorrow if it is raining, um, and we'll try and chase him down the same way. So um, look, I think it's I don't know wet weather for every now and then throws a spanner in the mix. It really tests out in these cars. They're not quite like GT cars where you put a stickier tire on and you got more grip. You're sliding around on a hard Dunlop that doesn't give you a lot of feedback, and sometimes it. Uh, quite fun and if you go back to SMP many moons ago where you have a drift in lap it's always a lot of fun as well I think that one guy tried it this year and didn't quite work out for him so um, look we want to put on a good show so a bit of wet weather it's already cold enough out there to be raining so um, may as well have it rain <laughs> thanks mate well done today I'll uh, open it up to the journos in the room uh, so Shane just racing with Zach Best I mean, what it's like coming up against a new person that you haven't raced against, do you, do you have to treat them a bit more cautiously or do you just, uh, you know, or do you just drive like normal? Um, you have to think about it more. Like, I don't know the guy and um, he doesn't care about my championship. He's, you know, star of the day. It's a pretty awesome big moment for him. So, yeah, I took a bit of caution, but I got stuck and then I had to pull a pretty risky move to get past. But um, when he did see I was going for that pass, he was aware and gave me a lot of space and... Um, stopped a crash happening so yeah he's he's pretty good and I'm sure he'll go pretty good in the future any other takers brief press conference tonight all right guys thank you very much and might see you back here tomorrow